This is the story of Deller, the King of Rage. You guys ready? This fucking shit almost made me cry, dude. I was watching it before stream. He was one of the best Diablo and Warcraft players in the world. Delhi Welly, how are you so cute? Dance B B B B B B B B B B B B B in Overwatch, but that wasn't all. He also ranked number one for most eliminations in PUBG. This guy is an esports legend. Hope you're having a good afternoon, Delhi. Louder. And now, he's a Fortnite YouTuber with over 500,000 subscribers who's made a name for himself with his incredibly hilarious but very angry reactions. Strawberry pancakes, chocolate bar. Pancakes. What is up, Pro Guides family? It's Kristoff, and this is the story of Deller, the king of Fortnite Rage. Deller has been banned from Twitch, dropped from pro esports teams, and somehow managed to come back from it all to have a successful YouTube gaming channel. Are you a fan of Deller's overtop Fortnite freakouts? I'll let you know my thoughts later on in the video. Before Deller started making cash from his hilarious reactions, he had very humble beginnings. He worked as a residential assistant, taking care of people with mental or physical challenges. But how did he go from a social working job to smashing objects for views? All along, Deller played many video games and one day discovered that he was actually pretty good at them. Not only did he manage to become one of the top 20 World of Warcraft players and the top 10 Diablo 3 players, but Deller also managed to score himself a signing at Toronto Esports playing Overwatch as their offensive tank. While on the team, he played three weekly tournaments, Rival Cave Weekly, Good Gaming Overwatch, and the Academy Gaming Overwatch Weekly event. As part of the team, he came in first place all three times. It looked like Deller's career was going to take off to a flying start until disaster struck. In April 23rd, Deller found himself in the middle of a massive controversy, one that would put an end to his esports career forever. Deller had been playing Overwatch on stream in front of multiple people. One of those people was a Widowmaker player called Jumpshot, a player that had been taking Deller out multiple times throughout the match. This would have been fine until the rest of Deller's team started to call him out as standing still in the line of sight of the sniper, which pretty much broke Deller completely. His reaction was not the reaction of a professional esports player. He said some incredibly offensive things. Offensive things that ultimately forced Toronto Esports to let him go from their company entirely. The esports org claimed that they were an organization built on inclusivity and that they had a zero tolerance policy for actions like Dellers, and so they decided to terminate his contract for the company. Hi guys, what's up? I owe you guys and everyone an apology. So that's what this is gonna be today. Deller realized that he had made a massive mistake. He understood that he deserved to be dropped from Toronto Esports and that he wouldn't try to make any arguments or excuses for his actions, but really there weren't any that could be made. He went on to say that he'd had a really bad day and that he'd gotten to a match with a Widowmaker player who was believed to be cheating and then snapped over the entire ordeal. After being dropped from Toronto Esports, Deller vowed that he would never return to Esports again, which was probably for the best if practicing got him so heated. But that didn't mean he would never return to streaming. After the heat had died down from his Toronto Esports firing, Deller was able to find something else that he genuinely enjoyed doing, and that was streaming his games to a live audience on Twitch. Deller grew slowly at first. People were probably pretty wary of watching him due to the Toronto Esports incident, but eventually that fell to the wayside when people realized how entertaining a Deller stream could actually be. Embarrassing. You guys need to uninstall. <laughs> uninstall, dude. Good old PUBG days. 
Battle Royale games were where Della found tonight. himself, and once again, he found that he was actually very good at them. He became one of the best PUBG players on the planet, dominating people in H1Z1, and quickly became known for his incredible rage-out moments when things didn't go quite the way he wanted them to. Honestly, this reminds me of a lot of my teammates in PUBG. It was only a matter of time before he would find Fortnite, and his life would change forever. There are certain games that act like spotlights on people. They illuminate certain individuals, and because of the light shown on them, they get to rise up quicker than everybody else. Deller was one of those people that Fortnite shone a light onto. While he had already been building a moderate viewer base with his rage-filled streams, it was his Fortnite streams and content that really took his viewership to the next level. In the corn, okay. Oh, I see it. There was just something about the mechanics of Fortnite and the way that Deller would rage about the game that acted as the perfect melting pot. It helped that Deller was actually good at the game too, constantly dropping 20 bombs and wins in the game. He even decided he knows, to play a knows. bit of the arena mode, despite the fact <clears throat> that he wasn't going to be playing in competitive games anymore. Deller was riding high, but no good time lasts forever. And for Deller, another mistake was looming on the horizon. This time it happened while playing a different Battle Royale game, Apex Legends. Unlike other Battle Royales, Apex Legends is a game where teamwork truly is key. At the time, the only mode you could play was trios, and the only way you could win was a combination of good teamwork and communication, linking characters' abilities and gunfire together to bring yourself to the top spot. The game was already going badly. Deller's squad had lost one of their teammates, and they had completely left the game, so it was just him and a girl playing as Lifeline. But Deller was mad. The Lifeline player had come and stolen some of his items, leaving him with no shields and barely any ammo for his assault rifle. He claimed that he would leave if the Lifeline didn't give him the shields, but she refused and told him to leave. Deller got angrier and angrier at the situation, even though he was trying to stay calm until eventually, just like the Widowmaker in Overwatch, he snapped and told the girl player to cook him a sandwich. This comment came at a time when Deller had managed to build up 350,000 followers on Twitch. Any mistake he made would be picked up by his many That's viewers it. and spread around the 600, internet 600,000 like and actually twice. And guess what happened? Well, Twitch <sighs> suspended him for his language. They claimed that asking the girl playing Lifeline to cook him a sandwich was based on their gender, and so they issued a 30-day long suspension. Like, what? what is, what is this? What is this, man? How can I not get any response at all? Are they inspecting me like I'm a fucking animal or something? Like. After a month had passed, Deller was ready to get back to the grind and start streaming again, but the bad news kept on coming. Upon returning to the streaming platform, Deller learned that his Twitch partnership had disappeared into thin air. Deller had almost 2,000 subs at the time, meaning that he had a $5,000 monthly paycheck taken away from him while he was in his suspension. His only contact at Twitch said that he could no longer help Deller, and there was nothing he could do to get the partnership back there and then. In his first stream back, viewers were greeted by an incredibly emotional Deller. He claimed that Twitch had never given him a warning about losing his partnership, and that now he had a lot less confidence about streaming on Twitch because he could no longer make money after his subs had been taken away. After emailing Twitch over and over again, he eventually got a positive response. They said they would give Deller back his affiliate status and his partnership if he was respectful and not offensive for six months, a length of time that was shortened to 60 days following good behavior. Deller was once again riding high, 
The date was October 1st, 2019, the date he was scheduled to get his partnership back. But once again, fate was not on Deller's side. And this time, he was banned for an indefinite amount of time. The reason? He broke a keyboard over his head, an act that Twitch claimed could be viewed as self-harm and thus against the rules of the site. This once again happened in a game of Apex, one that he thought he was being stream sniped against. Ah, uh, well, as you can see, the stream sniper's in the kill feed. Deller claimed that he had bought the type of keyboard he smashed against his head specifically because they're cheap and fragile, and that he had broken hundreds of them on his head in the past, and Twitch hadn't cared. Those streams had yep, even been watched by Twitch staff, but he'd never been banned for it. This action by Twitch led to Deller receiving a ton of support from the streaming and Twitch communities, all of them saying that Twitch's reaction had been unfair and disproportionate to what had occurred. This took Deller to a very, very dark place. He revealed that he had been depressed for months and that his ban from Twitch and even having his partnership taken away from him was a form of mental torture. He did everything he could to be more respectful and it felt like Twitch had just thrown it all back in his face and removed him from the platform for no reason. People became worried that Deller was going to do something stupid. Luckily, that display of concern and compassion from the Twitch community was enough to get the disillusioned streamer checked into a psychiatric hospital. Once again, this would be a pivotal point for Deller because it would help explain everything. Deller continued therapy for months, and it was at this time that he learned something about his mental health. Something that could go a long way to explain not just the actions that caused him to be banned from Twitch, but his rage reactions oh, in gosh, general. Deller had been diagnosed with Autism Spectrum Disorder. He announced this on Twitter and told people not to feel bad for him or think less of him because the revelation had made him happy and had allowed him to understand himself better. Each and every one of you mother Each and every- You! Yes, you! And you! And that guy over there! All you mother dude! I fucking love you guys, man. I fucking love you guys, man. I, f dude. Della, you've already made over four hundred dollars. WTF? I don't. I'm not. I can't even see donos, dude. They're fucking everywhere, man. There's too much. Glad you back. We love you, dude. Let's fucking go, man. Let's fucking go, dude. A new era had begun. The era of Deller on YouTube gaming. He quickly became one of the most watched streams on the platform, doing exactly what he had always done, raging out, having fun, and enjoying himself. Maybe Twitch wasn't the right place for him. Deller's life was never easy. There was a time when he was addicted to drugs and in debt, living off of welfare in Section 8, only streaming to 20 people. But in 2019, he went from being a nobody to being one of the top streamers on Twitch, and then later on YouTube. Deller doesn't know what the future will bring for him, but if his success on YouTube gaming is anything to go by, Deller's story is only just getting started. My personal take on Deller's story is that he is an exceptionally talented individual. Not only is he fun to watch because of how ragey he is, but to get in the top 0.1% of all those games that he played, it just goes to show what an absolute marvel he is. Nobody is perfect, he made mistakes in the past, and luckily he's able to find some success with YouTube, and I think that he's learned his lesson. I think we can all agree that we want to make gaming more inclusive for everybody, and I think that Deller knows that now, and I wish him the absolute best of luck.